All right. So let's get a little. Let's get started here with here's our main method, and let's go down a little bit. So in this case, our um, our interface or our abstract in this case is going to be a country. Uh, we have two different countries. We have France and Canada, and we have an interface to how these countries will be created, which is create country. Um, we have two specific scenarios. We have, we want to create a European country. We want to create a way to create a European country easily without worrying about the implementation details. And we have another scenario where we want to create a North American country without worrying about the gritty details. So, if we look at how it's actually implemented in code, um, we have two factories that we're creating, and there's multiple ways you can create a factory, and actually I'll show you a way that I, this is sort of the generic version of how a factory is created, but there's other ways that you can create a factory to make it easier in your code, and I'll show you just a quick way of how I generally do it just to make it quicker, quicker calls and uh, less lines. Um, but this is sort of the generic way. Okay, so we, we create two factories. We create a European factory and a North American factory, our country creator factory. And right here we're creating a uh, European country. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you all can see it. Um, we're creating a European country by going a European factory create country. And if we go down to the European factory, basically all we're doing is we're creating a, uh, the class France and we're returning it back and populating this interface or this abstract class of country and with the country North American country we're doing the same thing we're going North American factory create create country and we're populating it with whatever we have created in our factory so we don't have to worry about the implementation details of that so how, how is this useful to you okay so throughout your application you're making these um, factory calls so you have it scattered from here and yonder um, and it comes for factoring time. You know, you no longer need, um, you're no longer using France. France is out of the picture now. You want to use, um, for instance, England or um, Germany for a European country. So we create a new class. And it's going to be a country. So it's going to instantiate that base class. Ta -da. All right. So now we have an awesome Germany class that encapsulates everything that is German or whatever in a uh, definition of a country. <laughs> and now we want to populate throughout our application. We want to stop using France and we want to start using Germany. So instead of going and refactoring each single, you know, every single bit of code throughout your uh, entire application, trying to find every time France is being instantiated, now all we have to do is come down here to the uh, create country factory and change the reference. And now every time a create country is called, it's, instead of returning France, it's going to return Germany. Now this has saved my butt so many times. Um, it's a uh, very useful uh, pattern, and it's, it's one of the basic ones that you'll use time and time again. Um, okay, so I want to give you another example of how you can create a factory. Just, this is just something I want to do real quick and show you how um, you can save a little time. Um, and that's really just by making this static. And I want it to... Actually, we'll do this. We'll create another factory that's sole job is to be a factory. So I'm going to say country factory. And I'm going to make this static. And this is really there's, it's, it's the idea of a factory that you're, uh, using so you can tweak this however you need and, and and the thing about patterns are they're not they're not written in stone 
um, they're, they're general observations and things that have been done before, but you can tweak them and, and change them to however you need based on your, your situation, which is a little example of what we're doing, doing here. So we're taking uh, something, the, the cookie cutter version of what a factory is, and we're going to tweak it a little bit to make it a little simpler and easier to see up above. So let's take, uh, we're going to create two cl classes, static um, country, Create, uh, create European country. And I'm going to return or rerun or something. Uh, return new Germany. And down below, I'm going to do the same thing for the North American country. Country. Save a little time, copy and paste. We're going to return Canada. Cool deal. So how do we use something like this and how does this simplify? Oops. Simplify the code above. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to take our country factory. And what this allows, allows uh, us to do is kill this right here. Now we can just go, oops, make this public. Mm. Create European country. And now we can create North American country. So we're doing the same thing. We're just, we just modified it a little bit to make it a little bit easier on the eyes and remove some lines to make it, you know, simpler. So this is the factory pattern. Um, very common, very common, and it's, it's a great pattern to use. If, if any pattern today, um, I say you should, should take to heart and try to use as much as possible, it would be the factory pattern because it, it can save you so many times.